So for this video on AI and education, we're here at curipod.com and I've chosen to do a lesson for 10th grade. It's going to be a business lesson and it's going to be on the types of retail business ownership. I'm going to add in a, a learning objective here. So I want students will be able to understand, um, describe and evaluate the features of different types of retail business ownership. Here we go. I'm doing this in real time. Obviously, I could have just copied and pasted that in. Let's do magic. You get the rocket flying around, so it shows us it's actually doing something, which is always comforting. And there we go. As quick as that, we've now got a word, uh, a lesson with nine slides, which we can go in and edit, or we can just play straight away. So let's click play. Here we go into our live lesson. We can see if I scroll to the top here, students are able to join on their own device using curie.live with the pin number, and then they're able to add their answers here. So this first one has got a timer on it of two minutes. Set the timer on the QR. They can start adding their answers. I can add time or take it away. Going to jump ahead though. Students' answers then would appear on the word cloud. We then get some information about the types of retail business ownership, some further information about those concepts, and then we start to get into the questions for the students. So this is a poll. We've then got some did you know facts, an opportunity to describe the advantages and disadvantages. We then pull up some of the answers. Which type of retail business ownership do you think would be best for a startup business? So they're starting to apply their knowledge and what considerations could be taken into account. So we've got those nine slides there. I'm just gonna click end the lesson. Now there's no results here because we weren't actually doing that live with any students. If I go back to home, I can go in and I can see this particular lesson that I've just created. I can see how many times I've used it but I can also choose to go in there and duplicate it, rename it, or edit it. If I go to the edit view, you can see I've got the option to look at every individual slide. I can change the number of entries students can make, the amount of time that's available, the type of question, how long they can vote for, and so on. Uh, I can also import from PowerPoint or PDF and add slides as I want to. So really cool and very, very quick. Give it a try.